Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Kojo Fools, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved in our Primitive Plus series on PlayStation. So, today we are going to be taking on the Center Cave, which is located... Oh, right here. So, we have explored this cave before off-camera, but, um, well, you know... I decided that I was going to record it this time, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So today, the plan is just to go in here and see if we can tame any bugs, see if there's a, ah, see if there's a, um, if there's a, um, Megalosaurus in here or not, we'll see for sure. But I should probably, oh, uh, the lag, I should probably do this first before we get to into it. There we go. Okay, let's see here. I feel like I should probably put some spoiled meat down here. There we go. So if we do find any bugs, we will tame them. However, uh, the last time I came down here, it was pretty empty, so... We'll see. But anyway, our plan today is to tame as many bugs as possible and take them home with us. If you guys have never been in this cave, it is very confusing. There's a lot going on down here. A lot of winding turns and mushrooms and bright lights. Makes you super hesitant on everything. get this out just in case. Oh, not this. There we go. Just in case. I do not like surprises, especially in this game. Well, you're more than likely about to get killed. So there are drops in Primitive Plus Caves, but they're not the ones that you would be hoping for, if that makes sense. They're more of just like special drops. They don't have artifacts in them, which really sucks. But it is what it is. I don't see one down here right now. And this is my first time getting into the cave today, so I don't know what all to expect in here. Uh, the last time I came in here, there was nothing in here, so hopefully some stuff spawns in, and we might have to do one of those things where we just kind of explore until we get somewhere. Yeah, there's not even a drop right here. Why is the water red? I'm not gonna try that if the water turns red. Um, it didn't do anything to my health or anything, but if the water's turning red, that's not a good sign for me. Oh, that lag though. Nothing over here. There was a walkway I saw earlier, but I don't know if that's over here or not. Yep, 
Yeah, we're right back outside the cave. Hmm. Let's see. And I'm not seeing anything in here. In fact, the drops aren't even showing up. So maybe it's one of those things where we have to wait a second. I don't know. We're gonna... I think this is the way I just took to get out. Yeah. It is. think there's anything else in here. Hmm. It's a bit of a downer, isn't it? We'll try this one again. If the water starts turning red, I'm out. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know why the water's turning red. I don't know if that's a new thing or not. Um, if it is, though, let me know in the comments so that way I can decide whether or not I should try and attempt to swim down in deep water without any gear or any... Uh, Lazarus chowder. I don't want to try it and risk my risk my life for it in the game just yet. Especially since I plan on uh, trying to tame things. If I don't have anything, then I'm screwed. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head back out and we'll see what else we can do. It's a little unfortunate there's nothing in here. It's kind of annoying. Let's see here. Nothing over here. Yeah, I don't think there's any other caves around here either. A little bit old. Let's see. Alright. We're gonna go in here one more time. And, if it doesn't work out, then we'll go out and tame one of the dinos that's on my tame list. We'll wait for it to load in. There you go. I don't know why anything's not loading in. Usually this place is like teeming with spiders and scorpions and snakes. But I have yet to see a single living soul in here other than that drone that we took out right before we entered the cave.
By the way, there are two dossiers in here that you can unlock. That's the Megalodon dossier and the spider one. So if you guys haven't ever gotten into this cave, it's totally worth it. But for me right now, it's kind of been a bit of a dud. Nothing loading in at all. Ooh, and what is this? An explorer note? I didn't get anything from that one, I don't think. So there is an explorer note in here too. Let's see. Yeah, there's the Megalodon dossier. Well, that kind of sucks. Pretty sure this is the way I used to get out the last time. Yeah. Oh well, we'll go find something else to tame. So, uh, that didn't work out too well. Um, I do plan on periodically coming back and checking out the cave, making sure that things are actually spawning in it. And... I honestly haven't been in this area for a little bit, so that might be why nothing's spawning in. But we're going to go ahead and head back to the base, which is all the way down in the bottom of the map. Actually, no, it's over to the right, my bad. And once I get there, we will be back. Okay, you guys, so we are back at base. It was kind of a downer that the... Uh, that the cave didn't have what we wanted. There was no dinos in it whatsoever to tame. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get down to business of taming a different dino that's on my list. So, in our last episode when we tamed the female Therizinosaurus for Edward, we also tamed Brutus. Or, more or less, you guys saw me take him down. I tamed the rest of him off camera. Well, we need a female for him. So... There is a female over here. She's only a level 24, I think. Wherever she went. Uh, yeah, there she is. A level 24. Yep. And uh, so I decided that we should probably tame her. Um, before I get too into it, I want to show you guys a couple of changes. For example, Liam here. He got the Stego skeleton costume. And we also have been continuing with our breeding. I did move a whole bunch of dinos around, but I did bring over my female wolves. And, needless to say, we have two little puppies. We've got um, Tuffy and Ash. We did have another one, a male, but he died somehow. And uh, the issue was something about him not eating, despite the fact I had put so much dodo kibble into him. But, yeah, that was a thing. And then, we got Jenny over here, and... Oh, look at you. You want some dodo kibble? Okay. Anyway, um, so what had happened was these two are starting to grow up. Jenny's about full grown. Oh, I didn't mean to put that in her inventory. Oh, uh, come on. The game's not working with me today. There we go. Okay. Anyway, she's about 90% ready to, uh mature and I also have been breeding a whole bunch of the other dinos too so let's go ahead and look in here so we've got the fertilized baryonyx egg two carno eggs an argentavis egg a rex egg and an allosaurus egg so I still need to finish uh, breeding up all the dinos before I start hatching the eggs and I also need to breed the larger dinos, such as the spinos, and then the brontos once I get this female. So we're going to go ahead and try and tame her. Hopefully it'll be a lot more successful than her counterpart was. He ended up destroying a whole bunch of our, of our nursery while we were trying to tame him. He got really angry, so... Hopefully she's not as bad.
little distance. She's gonna go after her barn too. Why you gotta stand right on top of my shit? You got everywhere else to run. And you're gonna pass out on top of the spikes next to my base. Like the dumb animal you are. <sighs> Let's see if her health's decreasing. Nope, she's balanced perfectly on those spikes. Laying inside of my stables. <laughs> that would happen to me. Okay, well, she's down now. Let's look at her stats, I guess. Oh, she's shaking. Is she actually getting hurt? Nope, her health's not decreasing or anything. Anyway, she's got 3,220 health, 336 stamina, uh, 12, yeah, 12,000 food? Damn. 125 melee damage, 100 movement speed and 1,792 weight so yeah not as great as I want her to be but her purposes are for breeding so yeah we're definitely going to be just focusing on her for breeding we're gonna go ahead and grab Trudy here and her health is so low but it's because I was leveling her up okay we're gonna get her to back up real quick and we're gonna go get some much needed berries to tame this little lady over here. So the last time that I streamed it was bef- well it was on Primitive Plus and it was before the newest update so it's been a hot minute and I just want to say that a couple of the new uh, UI parts of the update are now that when you gain a whole bunch of items they show up in your, your left hand side unless you choose otherwise and then it also has changed up all the buffs and uh, hinders that your dino has they're all based on color now so it'll show you that oh hey your dinosaur weighs too much or is uh, encumbered and it's because of having too much in your inventory and it'll turn red up in the upper right corner so that's a new thing and then I guess they also did some new uh, noises and sounds and things like that as well alrighty let's put all these berries in there so she is a level 24 I'm going to look that up real quickly um we'll see how long it takes to tame her oh wrong one let's see here so I do have the taming speed up to, yeah, I do have the taming speed up by 11 and it'll take six minutes to tame her, but she's already at 24%. So while she's doing her thing, I guess, I don't know. I guess we'll just be back when she tames. Okay, you guys, so we tamed her up. I'm trying to get her out of those structures over there. Okay, let's look at those stats real quick. So she tamed out at a level 35. 3,727 health, 384 stamina, 14,000 food, 1,824 weight, 623 melee damage, 100 movement speed. So it looks like she got a bump in food, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. All right, we're just gonna leave her here. Anyway, while we were waiting for her to tame, we've been breeding our horses in here. So they they should be, they should be, but they're not. Yeah, they're not, they're not working out over here. It's getting kind of annoying. 
I'll just uh, scooch you a little closer, bud. How about that? There we go. All right, the hearts are going. Okay, so we've had a sort of productive day. We were going to go out and check out the caves and stuff like that, but that didn't work out too well. However, we did tame the Brano here, and I can't get a good close-up of her because, yeah, she's, like, not even interested in hanging out with me, which is fine. So, anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll get back to you on those. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!